And oh, from the Midlands, we find ourselves at the Hawthorns. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's West Bromwich Albion, and they take on Sheffield United. Yeah, thanks as always, Derek. It's a pleasure to be here. Anticipating a really good game today. The atmosphere is great. Certainly buzzing from the spectators' point of view as we head towards kickoff. Hopefully, we won't be disappointed. And look at the initial 11 for West Bromwich Albion. Fairly conventional 4 5 1 setup. Yeah, that back four will be protected throughout the game with the five midfield players in front of them. Really important that they do support that lone striker when they do have the ball. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back with the wing backs exposed like this in this formation, that a 4 4 2 can really create a 2v1 down the side. So keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for the two forwards up front. And they kick off here. Maitland Niles. It's with Yokushru. Gallagher. Darnell Furlong. Crossing possibilities. But defensive efficiency there. Determined defending. That was perfectly timed, and it is going to be a corner. Played into the center of the box. The opening goal of this match, and what a start they've made. Well, here's another look at it. It's a good delivery from the corner. There's still a lot of work to be done, but the keeper presents the near post on a plate, and he's punished. That's quite remarkable. Well, just look at the reactions on the touchline. They just need to keep their composure now. This is far from over. The opening goal of the game then. And the poor touch didn't help them on the possession front. Oliver Burke. David McGoldrick Bergen now just couldn't keep the ball Okai Yokushru real chance real danger it did take a touch on the way through hence a corner Over it comes, and clears his lines. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. Yeah. 
And now the delivery. And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here's the replay, Derek. It's a good, strong ball into the box. And then it's a nice little finish, too. Able just to cushion the ball back over the keeper. Lovely goal. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. It's going their way, 2-0. Berge. Well, no stopping him. A foul, but advantage played. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? He read the situation defensively and did his job. Okai Yokushru. And a throw in forthcoming. Brian. John Egan. And Burke with it. John Fleck. Nice looking pass. Good movement. An alert intervention. Berge. Baldock. Foiling them effectively. Hokai Yokushru. Phillips. And options in the centre. Townsend. Hokai Yokushru. Maitland-Niles. Wonderful chance. Keeper getting the touch. Well, they survived the attack. Norwood. And taking it away. Okai Yokushru. Connor Gallagher. Townsend. It's with Yokushru. A tremendous vision. Robert Snodgrass. Oh, a vital interception. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Oliver Norwood. Baldock. Norwood and so it is the first half story has been written well we're highlighting him for a reason he's bossing the game and giving the defenders headaches Lee well Derek is what I used to call a pest never lets up always asking questions of you as a defender questions you don't normally have the answer to that's why he gets so many goals Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. The visitors have had total control of possession, but after that it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas around the defence, get round them as opposed to trying to go through the middle. Now well, moving the ball impressively here, and the cross is immediately dealt with. Fleck. Now McGoldrick. McGoldrick. 
And the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? And a substitution in the offing. And still an opportunity. And in the end, no damage done. Okai Yokushru. It's with Yokushru. And played the pass well. Could play it in. Well, no problems defensively. Stevens. It looks promising. It's a cross towards the near post. Townsend. Okai Yokushru. Dianya. Read it superbly to take back possession. George Baldock. Berge. Can he finish? Surely, and there it is! Still life left in this game, and they have the momentum now. Well, here it is again. He does so well to slip past his man, left him stranded, and the pressure comes as he knew it would, but it's the strength that impresses me. It's a great goal in the end. Well, 2 1 it is here. Number 17, David Goldrick. Well, I must say he acquitted himself well under pressure. Okai Yokushru. Bartley. Dianya. And they are on the move again. Crossing possibilities, however, up a dead end. Berge. Brian. Just ten minutes to go. David McGoldrick. They do pass the ball with authority. It might be on for them. This could be the equaliser. Oh, it's a penalty. How about that? And at this late stage, too, an opportunity for them to level matters. And perhaps a bit fortunate not to be shown the yellow card. Different story next time, no doubt. And a timely penalty save. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. Over it comes. 
Well, it has come to nothing. Well, the crowd have reacted to this effort the players are putting in. They just need to keep their concentration and the game should be theirs. Good physical play. Well, chasing the game, but now a corner. Substitution time it is here. And firing it into the area. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Maitland-Niles. One minute remaining. Promising sequence. The delivery. Not problematic for the keeper. Lundström. And there goes the final whistle. The story here, a victory for the Baggies. Lee, your overall assessment. Yeah, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends. But they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him.